Hello and welcome to Mysteries of the Kingdom of Heaven. My name is Raj Singh. This video is titled, The Lot Fell Upon Matthias. Short Version The short version has relevant Bible verses to reveal Matthias, while the full version is with detailed Bible verses with deeper explanation for those who want greater evidence to justify the truth about Matthias. Acts 1 verse 26, And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Let's, through the word of God, find out the implications of Acts 1 verse 26, where we see the eleven disciples who became the apostles by drawing lots choose the replacement apostle for Judas Iscariot who betrayed Yeshua. The word of God proves the importance why Matthias, by not speaking a single word, had to be in the Holy Bible, and the reason the apostles did what they did. For why name someone who spake not a single word? Is it not the same? If they spake not, therefore name not, unless there is a message that comes from the name of the one who spake not. Let's see what Yeshua the Word of God reveals. If you like these videos, like, share, comment, and subscribe. God bless. In the two videos, Speak with Other Tongues and Have Not I Chosen You Twelve, Matthias has been mentioned. But in this video, Matthias has been focused on in detail and done to prove that the Word of God has not been added to in the other two videos. Points addressed in this video. Number one, first act of the apostles. Number two, why did the eleven draw lots? Number three, the book of Psalms. Number four, apostles' criteria for replacement apostle. Number five, Yeshua's criteria for apostles. Number six, chosen apostles. Number seven, witnesses. Number eight, apostles' red flag. Number nine, Yeshua's decision on Lot's cast to replace Judas. And number 10, what does Matthias prove? The first act of the eleven apostles. Acts 1 verse 15, And in those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, Verse 16, Men and brethren, this scripture must needs have been fulfilled, which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas, which was guide to them that took Yeshua. Verse 17, For he was numbered with us, and had obtained part of this ministry. Acts 1 verse 24, the eleven prayed to God to reveal which one of the two he had chosen. Verse 25, to reveal the replacement apostle of Judas. Verse 26, and they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and Matthias was chosen to be apostle number twelve, which reveals the very first act by the eleven apostles was to replace Judas. Which leads to us to ask the question, why did the eleven cast lots? The following Bible verses prove that in these cases, God's hand was in the decision-making process. I will not read them, but next to each one is the reason lots were cast. Casting lots removes man from making biased decisions, similar to flipping a coin. Proverbs 16 verse 33, The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. And the meaning of dispose, as is highlighted in yellow, to arrange or decide matters, and underlined in red, to do as God disposes, linking the word dispose directly to Yeshua, the word of God. Which means while man will cast lots, it is the Lord who will decide on matters relating to the cast lot. Let's see what Yeshua's decision was when it came to the replacement apostle and in particular to Matthias. Just to make a point, 
from my videos how many words from the dictionary seem that seem to have no relevance to Yeshua link these seemingly unrelated words directly to the Holy Bible, giving a deeper understanding of the meaning of the Word of God. The Book of Psalms, Acts 1 verse 20. I will read the yellow highlighted section only, for it is written in the Book of Psalms, and his bishopric let another take, which is linked to Psalms 109 verse 8, let his days be few, and let another take his office. And this is why the apostles took it upon themselves as their first act to find a replacement apostle. But let's see what the Word of God reveals. This leads us to the apostles' criteria for the replacement apostle. Acts 1 verse 21, Wherefore of these men which have companied with us all the time that the Lord Yeshua went in, and out among us. Verse 22 defines the parameters of the criteria set by the apostles, beginning from the baptism of John unto that same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection, which defines in from verse 21 being the day John the Baptist baptized Yeshua, and defines out from verse 21 being the day Yeshua was taken up. Now that we have covered the Apostles' criteria for the replacement Apostle, let's look at Yeshua's criteria for the Apostles. John 15 verse 27, And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. Let's see if Yeshua's beginning is the same as the Apostles' beginning. And there you have it, Yeshua's beginning. Luke 6, verse 13, And when it was day, he called unto him his disciples, and of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles. From the beginning, when Yeshua chose the twelve disciples, Yeshua called them apostles, proving Luke 6 verse 13 was the beginning. And there you have it. On the left, correct beginning, chosen apostles, Luke 6 verses 13 to 16, with the names of the chosen disciples whom also he named apostles from the beginning. And on the right, Yeshua taken up chosen apostles, Acts 1 verse 13, with the same list of names, less one being disciple and apostle number 12, Judas Iscariot. The two words being chose and apostles that link Luke 6 verse 13 to Acts 1 verse 2 proves who were the chosen, and that neither Barsabbas nor Matthias was on Yeshua's short list. Witnesses, John 15 verse 27, Witnesses from the Beginning, which lines up with Acts 1 verse 8, one verse before being taken up, Yeshua tells his remaining eleven apostles that the eleven will be his witnesses, which does not line up with Acts 1 verse 22, where the disciples say the beginning of the witness is from the baptism of John. Any witness chosen from Acts 1 verse 22 proves this without a doubt, for it does not line up with the witnesses from the beginning in John 15 verse 27 and the witnesses from Acts 1 verse 8, which confirms Matthias is a false apostle, a false witness. For both John 15 verse 27 and Acts 1 verse 8 was spoken by John 1 verse 1. The question is, do you accept Yeshua's witnesses or the Apostles' witness? Apostles' red flag. 
why would the apostles cast lots set a false beginning and appoint a false apostle and false witness the known facts which Yeshua the word of God has proved are number one the apostles knew the book of Psalms number two the apostles knew the true beginning number three the apostles knew the chosen apostles the truth about Matthias is very easy to see hear and understand the apostles gave to us a red flag on Matthias on a plate the question is why and there you have it the reason there are millions of discipleship courses Matthew 28 verse 19 Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. If you can see, hear, and understand, the depth of Matthew 28 verse 19 is amazing. There is so much information packed in just this one verse, making it hard to make a short video revealing it. All churches of every denomination believe Yeshua commissioned them to travel the world and appoint their Matthiases to teach all nations. And if you had any doubts, and there you have it. A simple Google search reveals in 0.34 seconds you have access to 13,700,000 discipleship courses available world worldwide. When I made the video, Have Not I Chosen You 12, there was 55,300,000 discipleship courses available. There has been a drastic reduction in these courses, which is a good thing. If churches knew the truth about Matthias, they would shut down discipleship courses, for they are casting lots to make false disciples, apostles, and witnesses. Let me give you a hint on the depth of Matthew 28 verse 19 and prove why it is so misunderstood. Teaser and tip of the iceberg of Matthew 28 verse 19. Number one, the verse says to baptize in the name. Number two, if the son has a name, then son is not a name. Number three, if the son has a name, then father is not a name, but has a name. Number four, if the Son has a name, then Holy Ghost is not a name, but has a name. Number five, the word nations is plural, meaning more than one. Number six, the word name is singular, meaning only one name. Churches of every denomination offer discipleship courses to give you a certificate that says you are qualified to do God's work. If you can see, hear, and understand, Matthias reveals discipleship courses make many thousands of false prophets every year. For they appoint disciples, apostles, prophets, and witnesses of the Spirit God of Truth in the flesh by casting lots. John 6 verse 70, Yeshua said, have not I chosen you twelve, of which one, being Judas, is a devil? And who is the devil? John 8 verse 44, he was a murderer from the beginning. Which leads to Saul in Acts 9 verse 1. Saul slaughtered disciples, which make Saul a murderer. Verse 15, for Saul was Yeshua's chosen vessel, and replacement for Judas, replacing one murderer with another murderer. The word of God has proved the link between Judas and Saul from the words murderer and chosen. Proving Yeshua's chosen was Saul, not Matthias. Subscribe and watch Have Not I Chosen You 12 to be revealed that Yeshua replaced Apostle Judas, the murderer, with Saul, another murderer, proving only God appoints disciples and apostles, not man, by casting lots. Yeshua's command to the eleven before being taken up. If you still believe Matthias was chosen, 
then there you have it. Yeshua gave two specific instructions to the eleven apostles before being taken up in Acts 1 verse 9. Acts 1 verse 4, Yeshua commands the eleven apostles, depart not from Jerusalem. Acts 1 verse 8, Yeshua tells the eleven apostles that the eleven are to be Yeshua's witnesses for what will happen in Jerusalem. Yeshua did not instruct or command the eleven apostles to make their first act in Acts to replace Judas. Yeshua's decision on Lot's cast to replace Judas, which brings us back to Proverbs 16, verse 33. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. The word of God has proved that this time casting lots was not Yeshua's choice. This time casting lots was flesh-led, not spirit-led, for Matthias, a clean man with no blood on his hands, was not chosen. Instead, Saul, a man with blood on his hands, was chosen to replace Judas. John 6 verse 70, Yeshua, while on earth, chose the twelve of which one was a devil. Acts 9 verse 15, Yeshua, now taken up, chose the murderer Saul, a devil who repented. What does John 6 verse 70 together with Acts 9 verse 15 prove? What does Matthias prove? And there you have it, 100% proof, only God chooses disciples, apostles, prophets, and witnesses. The word of God, John 1 verse 1, has proved only God chooses apostles and witnesses. For Yeshua chose while he was on earth, and Yeshua chose after he was taken up. For when man chooses apostles and witnesses, man makes many false Matthiases, apostles and witnesses. You've been watching Mysteries of the Kingdom of Heaven. My name is Raj Singh. This video is titled, The Lot Fell Upon Matthias. Acts 1 verse 26, And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Yeshua, the word of God, revealed the reason the lot fell upon Matthias was to prove to you by casting lots you appoint false disciples, apostles, prophets, and witnesses. Churches who cannot see, hear, and understand will never appoint disciples and men of God like Saul that can see, hear, and understand to do God's work, thereby creating many false disciples apostles and witnesses. If you like these videos, like, share, comment, and subscribe. God bless.